We are busy all the day. As countless number of tasks are ahead of us, we may come across with the risk of deadline overruns or sacrifice of quality without a thoughtful planning. What if there is a way to prioritize our work? In Taskifier, you can assign a due date to a task. When you receive many tasks, you can prioritize them based on their due dates. To prioritize tasks is simple. You just need to use your mouse to drag and drop. While tasks in the to-do list should be processed shortly, tasks in the pending list can be processed later on. When the to-do tasks are clear, you can move the pending tasks up to the to-do list. Since every time you focus mostly on a small amount of tasks on the to-do list, you are no longer engaged by a large amount of long outstanding tasks. Now let's see closely how to prioritize tasks in Taskifier. You can see three lists in the Taskifier My List Spring: the To Do, New, and Pending. Let's focus on the New first. The New list showing the tasks that is assigned to you, but you haven't assigned to To Do or Pending. So you can click the task to see the detail, like this one, the fixed calculation error in outstanding inventory report. In case you find the task need to do it as soon as possible, you can move the task to the top of the to-do list. Other than drag and drop, you can also use the left-hand side control to move the task to the top of the to-do list. Let's move the fix in correct page margin into the top of the to-do list. For the long urgent task or the task has a long due date, we can move it to the pending list and review later on. For example, the suggest enhancement on the order processing can be due later, so we move it to the pending list. You can move tasks one by one to the pending list or you can have a group move. You just select one of the tasks, change the company logo, and then press the shift button on your keyboard and hold it. Then you select the review delivery process, and then you can drag and drop to the pending list. Now, the new list is clear. Let me show you how to change the due date of the task. Let's go to the first task. We need to do the fix in correct page margin. And we can click the date on the top right corner. Now you see the calendar for you to select the due date. Let's change the due date to September 2, September the 2nd. And now we change the due date and you can see showing in the list. Other than due date, there are also another features called reminder. Imagine you have a task that will need to complete 13 days later and you just need one day to do so you want to have a notification to you just one day before the deadline then you can go to the task and click the alarm clock icon and select how many days to remind you then when the date approaching then you will receive the notifications and you can see the alarm clock showing in the task list. Classifying the task with the types can help to prioritize the task. For example, you have some urgent bug, you can put the urgent tag, something like that. In Taskifier, you can do that by using the tags. You can create the text by go to the left hand side print, the text. And after you click it, you see all the tags in our project. And you can click the plus sign to create a new tag. Let's name it box. And then you can change the color of the tags. Then you can, this is in the red. And let's go back to my task list. And you can assign the tag to the task by clicking the tag button on the right hand corner. And you pick the box. And you can also apply to the second task, this is a fixed calculation error, also a box. 
The tag not just showing in the task detail plane, but also you can see the tag in the task list. That can help you to justi justify which task need to go first. Keeping informed for someone is important in a successful project management. In Taskifier, you can add someone to the follow list. Then any activities performed in the task, he can be notified. Of course, you can follow the task by yourself. Let me show you how to add others to follow the task. We can see the follow button on the bottom of the task detail plane. You can click the follow to follow this, this task by yourself. But since this task is assigned to me, so I don't need to follow anymore. I can add others to follow. Say I want to add uh, Peter Pan to follow the task. Then let's switch to Peter Pan's account. And you see there is an inbox message arrived to his inbox. And that is because someone is Com completed the task, so he is get notified. You see, I just marked the task done, and Peter is get notified. Thank you for watching this video.